And meanwhile, we've got breaking news here at home. President Obama officially asking Congress to go to war with ISIS, requesting the authority to use military force to help battle a, quote, in his words, grave threat. Let's lead off this morning with Leland Vittert live in Washington. Leland, tell us first about the new war powers. What is happening on that? No, oh, Bill, this is the draft the president sent up to Capitol Hill. We just got our hands on it in the past 15 minutes. It brings up some very important questions, and the debate on Capitol Hill over this authorization will put the president's ISIS strategy under a microscope. It does include specific language against what they call, quote, enduring ground combat operations. And it's important that the words that the president is using here, enduring and ground combat, those are going to be heavily debated. Many Republican lawmakers say the president, though, isn't doing enough to take the fight to ISIS. You need boots on the ground. It doesn't have to be the 2nd Marine Division or the 101st Airborne Division, but you're going to have to put people on the ground to, to liberate Mosul or to conduct major operations out in Anbar. Well, the other issue for Congress to debate is the sunset clause. The president has asked for a three-year authorization of force, which, of course, takes us well into the next administration. The authorization of force spends an entire page laying out the threats posed by ISIS, including threats against the U.S. homeland and cities, sites by name, the U.S. hostages that have been killed on by ISIS. One thing that our Senate producer, Kara, has brought up here is that also the other question that it will be in this for Congress to debate is exactly, Bill, how broad of an area this authorizes the president to go after geographically, only in Syria, only in Iraq, across all of the Middle East, across the whole world. Yeah, Libya, Algeria, and on and on. But the, the headline about 20,000 foreign fighters, Leland, this is something they say never happened in Afghanistan. What's happening now? Well, exactly. It's a huge number of people that are streaming all the way into Syria to fight for ISIS. Perhaps the scarier number that's being quoted is 3,400, which is the latest estimate from fighters from Western countries. And this latest assessment comes as hearings on Capitol Hill are set for later today on the ISIS threat. U.S. officials have long admitted they have very little, if any, real intelligence assets inside Syria, so it's increasingly hard to keep track of all the people who end up there trying to fight. And obviously, Bill, one of the big concerns is that people go, they get that kind of military training, the intelligence services lose track of them, and they use those Western passports to come back home and create attacks back here in the United States or Western Europe. We have seen it play out already. Leland, thank you. More on that headline in a moment. Leland Vittert in Washington.